record. I don't remember what the questions are, but I'm gonna pull them up. Yeah, I'll pull them up my phone. T tell me how this place gets started, man. Let's start there. Well, uh, well, it started ten years ago. Let's look right over here. Ten Sorry. years ago. Oh. Start that sentence again. So it started ten years ago. Uh, Rick Swanson and Brent Stockton uh, want to open up a live music venue, and uh, shortly thereafter, they wanted me to come work for them. So I've been working pretty much since day one. Uh, worked here for five years, and then Rick wanted to get out of it, and uh, gave me the opportunity to buy him out, and uh, I did it. Uh, it's been fun, you know. It's been interesting. Uh, I didn't change much what Rick did, you know. I just I was a little I'm a little more open to the different genres, uh, you know. Just some of the stuff he wouldn't do, I, I've done. I've opened it up to more metal, a little bit more hip hop, just some strange shows. I've done <laughs> four drag shows now. Uh, just opened up, you know, it's, it's a great stage with lights, and I just opened it up for anybody that could bring a show here and, and do their thing. Speaking of bands, who are some of the biggest names you've ever hosted? Oh, we've had a lot of 80s hair bands. Had the Bullet Boys, uh, L.A. Guns, uh, Lynch Mob, Faster Pussycat. Uh, Helmet was here a couple years ago. Fishbone was here this year. Had Head P.E. That was killer. Uh, just a lot of, lot of great stuff. Those are pretty much the, the big stuff. Anybody on the blues circuit has been through here. Anybody that's out there touring right now on the blues circuit has been through here. Uh, Devin Allman, uh, Tinsley Ellis, uh, God, I can't even think of them all right now. Just any, anybody big in the blues has been here. Uh, we've had some pretty big name hip hop people. Uh, can't really think of the names right off the top of my head because I'm just not a hip hop person. I, I, I pass that off on other people when they book those shows because I, I couldn't book a hip hop show to save my life. <laughs> uh, Oh, man, there's, it was you know the cool part of this is years ago listening to some of those '80s hair bands, being at a party listening to it, and then never never knowing that years later I'd be hosting them at, at my own bar. That's that's cool. That is really cool. I kind of like that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just been a fun experience watching uh, people that work here as kids grow up here. You know now they were just kids and now they're either teenagers or still younger kids uh, even customers have gotten married here now not married here actually married here but gotten married and have kids I've just seen in the last 10 years I've seen a lot of a lot of neat things which with, with customers and band members and it's just been a cool cool experience music joints are usually known for uh, for partying bands rowdy nights uh, is that true of the Chesterfield a little bit uh, we we get crazy here and party but rowdiness just you know it's a pretty safe good place to come we hardly ever have any incidences here even with all the different genres of music we've done, uh, people just respect the place and they don't start, start trouble. But uh, we, we've had our good times. Gypsy Lover, Kelly Quinn Man, uh, Premium Giraffe, they always you know get a little crazy. I mean, we, we've done some crazy stuff here, stuff that you know probably shouldn't be printed, but <laughs> we've had some fun here. That's all that matters. Uh, let's see here. I want to make sure. Uh, tell me about what makes... Um, you know what makes this fun? Kind of coming back to work fun every day. Uh, it's just it's just different every day. Uh, you know we have a lot of the regulars and a lot of the same bands that we've had over the years, but it's always different. Each weekend's different, and we do mix it up. We don't keep bringing the same bands here week after week after week like like some other places. It's it's always different here on the weekend. Different genre. A lot of times it's just always different. Uh, Four Street's changed a lot in that time, in 10 years. What do you foresee uh, downtown in this district in 10 years? Well, I hope it, uh, it kind of comes back. It's kind of left a little bit. You know, it's kind of concentrating on the other end of town right now. But I think that'll all sort itself out. Uh, I hope, Hopefully it'll come back. You know, it'll be like it was. You know, we got some new construction going on down there on uh, Gordon. You know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of condos and stuff going on down at this end of town. So I think, uh, I think it'll all sort itself out. It'll be just fine if not better uh, do you have a favorite story or two about uh, this place you want to share I mean, something that really sticks out that you tell people about still yeah well it would be back to one of the 80s hair bands Bullet Boys it was the first big show I did here my first uh, uh, touring you know nationally touring act and they came here on a uh, uh, it was a Tuesday or a Thursday usually an off night and the place was packed I had ghost ship playing I can't remember who I was playing that night Thick Mistress I think was on the bill and Mark Torian's the lead singer, only original member. And he come in in the afternoon, checked in. Super cool guy. I thought everything was cool. When we come back about 10 o'clock to play, 
well, the place is packed, and he takes me in the back room, and he, uh, he goes, uh, you're packed. We're going to need a bonus before we go on. I looked at him like, well, what are you talking about? He goes, I'm going to need a bonus. We're not, the band's not playing. And I thought, you know, what? So he wanted five. I go, what are we talking about? He goes, I need 500 bucks, and we're not going up. And I'm like, I didn't know what to do. I was green. You know, I was new. This was my first big act. You know, now I would tell him to, you know, whatever. <laughs> drag him out by his collar but <clears throat> so anyway so i came out here grabbed him the 500 bucks he went up and played and they were they you know put on a great show but in the meantime everybody here at the bar heard about the little extortion thing and it got kind of ugly uh i ended up in the back room arguing with the guy and telling him look man if you at the end of the night i would have bonused you because i try to do that with bands that do well and i go but the way you asked for it is wrong so we me and him are going back and forth and finally he reaches down his little purse or satchel or whatever the hell he was carrying and he, and he gave it back to me and I was so pissed that I said, you know what, to prove to you what kind of guy I am, I'm going to give you half of this back. Because if you would have uh, asked for it at the end of the night or whatever, you know, we, I would have given this to you, that you deserved it. And uh, and that, and we, I go, I guarantee, because people wanted to kick his ass. Every, the band, Ghost Ship, Rick Moore from Ghost Ship was going to kick his ass. Oh, it was crazy. And, uh, and I go, I'll guarantee your safety out of here. And we got him out of here and the show was over. And it was a huge success, you know. But just the way he went about demanding 500 bucks, or he wasn't gonna, his band wasn't gonna play, and I just thought that was wrong. And now I know how to handle that. I, that wouldn't have happened, that won't happen ever again. Yeah. Um, favorite performer past 10 years? Oh, wow, I, 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 geez. I don't have a favorite performer, there's too many of them. Uh, Name a few. Chris Lager Band was always awesome. Uh, gee, local stuff, I don't, I don't wanna say anybody local, cause they're, you know, I don't wanna piss anybody off, but. Chris Lager Band comes to mind right away. Uh, I've seen a lot of the good blues guys. Some of them I can't remember their name right now. Some of the, I saw some of the best blues that's out there here. Allison's have played here, haven't they? No, I don't know. No, no. Oh, I thought maybe one of them had. Um, geez, that's hard to say. Like Chris Lager comes to mind right away because he was just here and he's coming back in December. Um, geez, I, I don't even know where to start with that. That's kind of a tough question. It's all been favoritism, good. you know. <laughs> We've, I've seen some good stuff here. We've had the best of the best, you know. We're, that's why we're on the map here. We're, uh, I wish I could throw a couple more out there. I'm kind of drawing a blank now. They all, a lot of good stuff, though. I mean, endless. Oh, yeah. Head, or, uh, head P was cool. Uh, Helmet was cool. Such a great, great people. That one sticks out. And all the 80s hair bands were good, you know. They're, they're 80s hair bands now. They're, they're playing clubs, which is kind of cool. You get it up close, personal with those guys. Uh, Lenata's always do a great job. Uh, everybody local, like I said, I ain't gonna single anybody out because there's so many of them. I don't want to say I have a favorite because there's just so many of them. Talk about, let's talk about local real quick. That's my last question actually. Tell, tell me about what local music means for a venue like this and what the venue like this means for local music. Well, what kind of keeps us going is uh, the original local music. Nobody else gives them a chance to play anywhere. You know, the other bars that have it, they, they basically want to book cover bands, and people like that. You know, some people want to hear cover bands. They want to hear songs they recognize on the radio, but there's so much good original music here in town that this is where they come to play, and I welcome them because it's just so good, and where else are you going to see? There's nowhere else in town to really see that. You know, a lot of them have done their CD releases here. Uh, we do the battle of bands here, and that's all local original music. Um, this is just kind of the home for original music here in Sioux City. You know, like I said, the other bars, they want cover bands. People want to hear cover bands. And it's sad, really. Not that cover bands are bad. I've, some of the best cover bands I've ever heard have come through here. Uh, the ACDC tribute I bring here. Jukebox Zero, is, you'll never hear a better cover band than Jukebox Zero. Um, but people want to hear that stuff they hear on the radio. You know, mm -hmm. they're comfortable with that. And the original music, even when I bring outside original music to town on an off night, people don't know who they are they don't show up but the ones that do show up it's like damn that was awesome you should have been here you know so that's why i try to support as much original music as possible one last question i said that one, last one was my last it isn't uh, if you could describe chesterfield in three words what would it be um um um, um. <laughs> Jeez. uh a great time to say.